Apple really needs to fix this or else I'm going to go to DaVinci Resolve. So I open up Final Cut and this is now the second or third time this has happened where there's nothing on the timeline. Everything is just a black clip here. There's no video, no audio. These are the kinds of little issues that eat up all my time and then I can't get stuff done. And that's what caused me to move from Adobe Premiere to Final Cut in the first place. I'm going to go through my troubleshooting process in the hopes that it helps you to look for things to troubleshoot, but if you want to jump straight to the solution, then feel free to use the timeline encodings. Media in the browser here appears to be missing. Right click. Reveal on Finder is grayed out, so it can't find it. Yeah, if this looks a little bit different, that's because I have gone over here and I've toggled the way this looks with this little option up here. Toggle between film strip and list mode. I like the list mode. So first thing I did is I came in here on the library, went reveal on Finder, go to the bundle, right click, show package contents. For me, all of my media is on an external drive. I don't think that's that unorthodox. It should be okay. Original media, this is what bothers me, is that there's nothing in original media. Usually I would expect to see some kind of alias sitting in here that would point to the file on the external drive, but I'm not seeing that. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, an alias is just a reference to a file. It's like a Windows shortcut. Or think of it like a forwarding address. It says, well, you're looking here for the file. The file's not here, but I know where it is. It's over here. And just to show you what this should look like, if you come into the bundle again and show package contents, then if you go into original media, you'll see you have an alias. Now that alias is what's pointing to the actual source file. So if you go show original, that'll take you to where that source file actually exists on your external drive. So one thing I tried was I closed up Final Cut, reopened it, same thing. Tried restarting the computer, opening the project again, same thing. Then I came into here, often the problem is file and delete generated clip files, delete render files, Basically go ahead and delete all these, hit OK. So now if I go back to Finder and look in render files, everything should be gone, except it's not. So, all right, what I'm going to go ahead and do is delete these manually. Now, another thing I tried early on was deleting the cache. So for me, I go to storage locations on the library and I have my cache on an external drive. So I went to that external drive and I deleted the cache. Close down Final Cut, reopen Final Cut, same thing. Okay, so one would think that you might be able to come up here to File and Relink Files, and, well, Original Media, it's grayed out, it's disabled. So, come over here in the browser, Command A to select everything. Let's try it again. File and Relink Files, now it's enabled, Original Media, but we see nothing here. So next thing I tried is I just went to my Source Media folder, which for me, I keep organized like this, and I'll just select all, that's just a command A, or edit and select all, same thing. I do that, and then I drag all of them into Final Cut onto the timeline. Just going to drop them at the end of the video. And look what it did. It somehow magically made all the stuff reappear. Kind of. Some of them are okay. Some of them are not okay, these are not okay. So I'll come over here in the clip browser, click in here on one of them, I'll do a command A to select all, file, relink files, and original media. And now you can see Final Cut has at least recognized that it should know about these. Leave this as relink all, and then locate all. Make sure that you're in your source folder for all the files, and then hit choose. Say verifying, it'll say some number of some number of files have matched. Hit relink files. Now, why is it not picking up the rest of these? Okay, so at this point I'm going to try to just close down Final Cut and then I'll reopen it. And that's fun, it has done this again. So I'll come to my source files, I'll say select all, I'll drag them into the timeline at the end here. And now, you'll see that all of a sudden that has made Final Cut detect that these files actually exist. Uh, this is a little bit wonky, so you might have to do this a couple times. They're no longer coming up as missing in the browser here. And now, of course, we don't want these in our timeline, so they're all still selected, so I'll just hit delete and everything still appears to be all good. Let me just add, there's a lot here that doesn't make any sense. For example, I've tried to reproduce this issue 
by deleting all the aliases in the project bundle, reopening the project, expecting the clips to be empty, the Final Cut actually finds the clips and relinks them for me. It doesn't make any sense that Relink Files doesn't always pick up the files, especially when they're in the same directory or subdirectory, and it doesn't make any sense that Relink Clips has different behavior based on whether you select clips from the timeline or files from the browser. And I'm just going by Apple's own documentation here. I even created my own alias, dropped it into the bundle, and Final Cut didn't recognize it. So I'm not exactly sure what's so special about dragging files from Finder onto the timeline that makes things relink, but that is what fixed it for me. And it doesn't make any sense why I now have aliases that have this FCP1 suffix on them. I looked in other projects and I see the same thing, sometimes with an FCP2. And for that matter, I have no idea how these file references are becoming corrupt in the first place. And there you have it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Now you can get back to editing your video, and I can get back to drinking my coffee.